Hello guys, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we are going to see another problem. Powers of 2 to required sum. The problem statement is, given an integer n, task is to find the numbers which when raised to the power of 2 and added finally gives the integer n. For example, if input is 71307, the output is 0, 1, 3, 7, 9, 10, 12, and 16. When we raise all these numbers to the power of 2 and add them together, the result of addition will be our number n. Let's see another example. If input is 1213, the output is 0, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, and 10. Here also, when we raise all these numbers to the power of 2 and add them together, the result of addition will be our number n. Let's see how to solve this problem. The key idea here is that every number can be described in the power of 2. So in the first step, we convert the number into its binary equivalent and in the second step, I trade through its binary equivalent and whenever there is a set bit, just print the ith position. Let's see the code. Inside the main function, we call the block function with different values of x. Let's see what the block function does. Inside the block function, we create a vector variable v to store the binary form of the current number x. We run a while loop to find the binary form of x. In each iteration, we find x modulo 2 and push it into the vector. Next, we update x by dividing it with 2. Let's visualize it. Let x be 27, then we have to obtain its binary form. In the first iteration, x is equal to 27. We find x modulo 2, that is 1, and then we push it into the vector, so now the content of vector is 1, and then finally we update x by dividing it with 2, and we get 13. In the second iteration, x becomes 13. Again we perform modulo with 2 operation and 1 is our result. We push it into the vector, now vector content is 1 and 1. Finally we update x and we get 6 and so on. We continue doing this as long as x is greater than 0. Now we have obtained the binary form of x and stored it in vector v. Finally we simply run a for loop and in each iteration we check if the current bit is 1. If true, then we print i as we continue as long as there are bits remaining in the vector. And here this if statement is just used to place comma between two values. The time complexity of this approach is O of 1 and the space complexity of this approach is also O of 1. Thank you for watching. Please leave us your likes and comments.